Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where this evening I'm here at Warwick Castle for something a little bit different. I've come to see Dragon Slayer, uh, which is a full evening of action-packed entertainment, all based around the castle. We're going to get to see fire jousting, all sorts of different stunts, and then later on, a projection mapping, fire and pyrotechnic show. You know that's right up my street. Uh, now, this is a completely separate ticketed event as to what you can see here in the daytime at Warwick Castle. And I have filmed the vlog previously here, uh, where you get to see the castle uh, and its normal operation so make sure you check that out of course i'm a million annual pass holder so we did get a discount on the tickets for this event and i paid 16 pounds so you know a bit of a discount uh, compared to what you'd normally pay but um yeah it's cheaper to come to this event than coming here for the full day uh, but like i say it's a completely different offering um, so yes, in terms of the setup, uh, they've just let us in at 7 o'clock. It says the entertainment and stuff doesn't start until a little bit later. Uh, but they've let us in, uh, so we can get in here nice and early, have a little look around, and then of course the highlight, which is going to be right at the end, will be the, uh, the main show with that projection mapping, all the different fire and special effects. Um, now this show actually first started last year, as in summer 2018, and it must gone, have gone down really well because they've brought it back um, for 2019. And I must say, from the videos that I've seen, it look great i actually booked my ticket for this way back in february because i thought i want to guarantee it it's only selected nights and they only run it in august so uh, yeah it looks brilliant of course i'm going to be able to take you along uh, for the majority of the evening as far as i'm aware uh, i've seen videos from all the different activities and shows um so yeah it's all going to come together in this vlog so you can really see what dragon slayer is all about uh, yeah i've gotten here nice and early it's actually a sellout evening tonight so and it's the first night of the event so it's going to be a busy one um, i'm going to get a nice seat over here i believe first we've got some sort of jousting uh, and then later on we make our way up into the main courtyard um, for the big finale to the nights with that uh, huge firework projection mapping like all different effects basically in that show that I'm looking forward to uh, but yes welcome to Dragon Slayer here at Warwick Castle and let's get started with the evening So I've made my way down here onto the grass next to the mighty trebuchet uh, that they actually use in the daytime for one of the shows here at Warwick Castle. All this area is normally cordoned off. Uh, but for tonight, they've set up all this seating here uh, and you've got some food units over there as well. And a bar, but no drinks for me because I've got to drive back. Um, but yeah, they've set all this up down there. Steak and chips, halloumi fries, um, you know, all of this little hub area, if you like, um, for this evening. And then of course, you've got the beautiful view of the castle over there as well. Stunning, isn't it? What an amazing amazing beautiful building it really is and uh, yeah the courtyard is on the other side of there um, so yes we'll be heading into there later on for that big finale show uh, but yeah it looks like they're actually letting us in down here to go and uh, get a place for the fire jousting so that takes place in the arena just over here uh, I have seen jousting here before like they used to do a daytime show I'm not too sure if they still do it or not actually uh, but yeah they used to do that going back a good maybe seven or eight years uh, when I last come to see that and uh, yeah that used to be really good so uh, this with all the different lighting and stuff I'd imagine uh, what they've got set up over there for this and yeah lots of different special effects I think it's going to be really good I'm looking forward to it so let's go and have a little look down here looks like the selling programs as well here we go it's been a while it's been completely rebuilt this actually since I was last down here and yeah there's the uh, trebuchet there as well amazing isn't it but yeah if you want to see that in action check out my vlog that I've done from here uh, in the daytime before and there we are five pound for a program I think they just said so if you are going to be visiting this event in the future, here's a look at the running order, just so you've got a bit of an idea as to how the evening's laid out. Um, so of course the gate's opened at seven o'clock. I got here nice and early, but of course you wouldn't have to get here that early if you didn't want to, as Act One, which is down here in the arena, uh, doesn't start until 8.30. You then got the uh, interval at 9.05, so that's a 35 minute show. And then Act Two, which takes place up in the central courtyard uh, from 9.40. And I assume that's probably a 20 minute show. Uh, um, because then it finishes at 10 o'clock. Um, but yeah, there you go, a little look at what's taking place this evening. So you've got nearly an hour's worth of entertainment along with all the extra uh, stuff that you've got going on around as well. So right, I'm gonna make my way around here and get a little uh, spot. Cause I'm here nice and early, should get a nice position.
Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Shut up.
I could tell you the legend of a king called Arthur, or an outlaw called Robin of the Hood. But the legend I will tell you today, my friends, is born from the soil of Oregon and was told throughout the kingdoms of Europe. As all legends, its truth lies deep within. That truth is of a man from humble stock who rose to be a mighty warrior knight whose chivalry and courage protected this land from a relentless terror. It is time for you to meet the young man who will become the greatest hero of his time. A man who will become the legend that is Guy of Warwick. I will send news to you of my triumphs. 
I will return. Farewell, Lady Phyllis. Lady the Phaser. Oh, wait, stop. Well, you forgot this. Guy. Over these many months, I have taken part in three tournaments. In Paris, and from there I travel to Burgundy and Bavaria. I revel in this life of adventure, a chivalrous life that will earn me fortune and fame so that I can return to you. Today I travel to Belgium and the town of Louvain. Who wishes to challenge my rightful rule in these lands? Burn her! Stop this! I must object! This woman has not had a fair trial! Who speaks? I am Guy! And I have heard the pleas of this young woman's family. And there is no truth in the accusations that you have laid against her. <laughs> you dare to call me a liar. I do. He do it. This woman, she is innocent. I'm innocent. No. Burn her. No. I throw this braggart in no. the stock. No. You no. release her. No. risking mine. Well, you are sorely mistaken. I will not forget this. Let us go! Yes, my lord. Well then, let me offer you some kind of reward then. Perhaps a little bit of money. Oh. Or perhaps a little bit of marriage. Oh. I rescued the maiden of Levan from the burning stake and she asked me to marry her. What? Having left the grateful maiden, and the word of my fight for justice had spread. I slaughtered pilgrims to the Holy Land, I rescued a lion, and then I saved the Emperor of Constantinople. Oh, you petulant fool! Fine! Don't just 
and horse him, crush his body beneath your boots, till it falls to the other side. You'll have to make you.
must say that was absolutely incredible, really well put together. And I'll share my full thoughts on the full experience uh, once we've seen the big finale show just up here. Uh, but yeah, that was absolutely wonderful. I've just got up here quite quick just to get a good spot uh, ready for the big finale. And as you can see, we're here in the courtyard ready for act two. Uh, yeah, that was wonderful, really nicely put together, all the audio, lighting, the story, and uh, yeah, as you saw there in the end of those uh, clips, just uh, the story all sort of leads in uh, towards this section now, where we've all raced up to the castle and ready for the next part of the show. Uh, but yeah, I've never seen anything like this done at Warwick Castle before, because like I say, it only actually started last year. Um, but yeah, you've got all the projections uh, all shining on this side of the castle, and it looks fantastic. Um, you've got like a, a just a breeze, like the wind blowing in the audio uh, at the moment. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, just put it into perspective. It looks very different at night. Um, you've got the dungeon, which is located just over there. Then like you've got all like the banqueting halls and everything located in this section. Um, but yeah, it's, this show is all focused over on this corner of the castle just over here. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Like I say, we've got uh, a combination of projection mapping, fire, pyrotechnics, fireworks, everything that I love basically in this part of the show. So here we go, coming up over the next few minutes, get ready as Dragon Slayer continues here at Warwick Castle. Which is a speck on the horizon. No threat. Then it grew bigger and bigger. Louder and louder. As it grew closer, we heard the beating of its cruel heart. Like a thousand angry portals, filling all those who watched it with a dreadful foreboding. Then it was upon us, swiftly moving inland towards the castle. Its ferocious, bloodthirsty screams brought terror to all. Those brave enough to stand and fight were slain. As it reached the castle, Guy strode forward to face this monster. It swarmed fast across our land.
the guy of Warwick, the Dragon Slayer. I was victorious. I can be free without any of my daughter for this. Now and then. 
gathers joy in my heart. Surrounded by the many letters he had written to me, as I left, I saw his words scratched into the rock. was absolutely spectacular and wow what a show Warwick Castle have put together there that really is something that this place should be really really proud of that is brilliant and he's on par with some of the best stuff I've seen production wise uh, you look at all the projection mapping that is really good quality I mean you look at it there behind me uh, along with that you had all the performers that were in there uh, like all the actors at the top and everything uh, along with that as well the fireworks the pyrotechnics the fire honestly that was the perfect show it was, I absolutely loved it it was brilliant uh, I mean what more can I say than other than what an epic performance by everyone 
so much thought has gone into that with the storyline and you know the whole sort of I, I'm gonna call that a bit of a pre-show act one as to what you're gonna get there in act two that was just out of this world I mean it's this is probably the first time you ever seen me at a Merlin owned attraction here in the UK blown away by something and don't get me wrong Merlin have done some great stuff over the past few years uh, theming wise especially and uh, like look at Wicker Man at Alton Towers and I know this is completely different but what a brilliant package tonight has been and I think I'd have paid like 30 35 pounds for what I've seen tonight I thought that it was stunning uh, I really do I mean you look at it here now now it's starting to empty out you know they've kept all the projections on the lighting and just look at the atmosphere literally everyone down there was like oh my god like that was brilliant uh, obviously I've been to all the Disney parks around the world and I would say that that was on par with some of the shows I've seen there uh, and the storyline behind it was great all that build-up that you got um, down at the start so that's sort of recap it all um, so down there you know you had all the awesome bit of pre-show entertainment with the fire eater uh, going down there breathing all the fire getting all the crowd warmed up and then the production itself was great down there all the horses uh, lots of stunts going on it nearly went on for about 40 minutes that uh, had a great storyline to it and what really made it for me was all the nice themed audio and lighting what there was uh, nothing compared to what I'm standing here now but uh, yeah no, that was great down there sort of building up towards this um, I just thought the quality of that production down there take th this whole show that I've just seen here uh, out of it what I saw down there was much better than expected um, you know it, it, for me it makes it when you've got really good lighting uh, there was a few bits of fire effects and pyro in that as well that was good and yeah all round a great performance and then all that storyline uh, leading towards uh, making your way up here that that made it for me the fact that he went off on his horse it was like the castle's being attacked we need to make our way run to the castle and then we all made our way up here uh, and then 30 minutes later a uh, little time to go and get some food to go toilet and um, you know you come up here into the courtyard and you're treated to an amazing show that is one of the best productions I've seen that it was so well put together that much so I'm actually gonna look tonight to see if I can book to come again during its run because I thought that was brilliant I'd look, I think Alex and Charlotte in particular would really enjoy that I think anyone would to be honest I highly recommend that and I'm sure that with how much money they've spent on putting this together the storyline the soundtracks all custom made I can see this being here at Warwick Castle uh, for a good few years um, you know it, it was brilliant that uh, a really nice use of special effects honestly I can just go on about it forever but just saying how epic it was but honestly get yourselves down into Warwick Castle and come and check that out um, absolutely breathtaking show and yeah what an overall experience like I say that made it for me tonight the fact that the whole storyline uh, was intertwined between both it was act one and act two with a short interval and it all sort of came together here in this epic finale what made that as well was the fact that um, you know you've got like the actors and stuff at the top of the turret just there and that was nice little effects there's little things isn't it like when the dragon was projected just at the behind me here you had the flame machine set up perfectly at the top so when he breathed uh, fire it would actually be real fire that came out the top just there it's them things that really make it and also I didn't realize that it was gonna be like a, a bit of a 360 show if you like I mean I know it's not in that corner because there's all trees but in terms of the utilize uh, all the buildings around with loads of effects and you just hear that rumble now I mean, I'm not sure how well that's picking up on the microphone, but yeah, just like the, you know, the, the fire burning through the castle and you've got like the entrance gateway over here, look, that's still all going with all the flames on there. Um, over at the back, like on the banqueting hall area, um, you know, that's all still on fire, all the projections. Honestly, what a production. Uh, I just want to say to everyone who put that together, they should be very, very, very proud. As you've seen on this channel, I've traveled around a lot of places and I feel quite honored to be honest, to have that Merlin attraction just over an hour away from where I live. It's brilliant. I think they should run it more, to be honest. Like maybe do a winter one. Honestly, they've got all this set up, like they've installed all the projectors and everything um, all up at the back there. They're putting like a techie booth and stuff. Um, you know, like they should really look at doing that more. And if Merlin can put that on here, I'd love to see them maybe try doing something at Alton Towers maybe not for the fireworks because you wouldn't really see projections as much on the towers at the other side of the lake unless they completely changed the setup and had you stand in front of the towers directly um, but you know I'd love to see maybe Scarefest them do a projection mapping show on the towers ruins uh, honestly like that was absolutely brilliant and just looking at the quality of the projections I know I keep going on about it but honestly like that was amazing that's one of the best things I've seen like in an attraction I thought it was great and I didn't I nearly said theme park but yeah we're not in a theme park as much as you're saying by uh, Merlin it is the castle but they've really turned this place into more of a yes you still learn the history uh, but a more modern take on it and that's what's going to keep this place thriving in my opinion 
I've always enjoyed it. We did Halloween here a couple of years ago and that was great, but that is the best thing I've ever seen in a Merlin attraction. Um, I thought that was absolutely stunning. And don't get me wrong, I love like the fireworks at Alton Towers and stuff, for example, uh, where that uses a bit of pop music and stuff in it. Whereas this, it was, you know, fully themed the whole night. I've been here nearly four hours. The whole thing has been very, very heavily themed. But there we go. Thank you very much for joining me here at Warwick Castle for Dragon Slayer. Uh, of course, I recommend it. Get yourselves down here, book your tickets and come and check it out. Uh, I paid 16 quid for tonight and I think it's more than worth it. I'm Sean Sandbrook. This has been Dragon Slayer at Warwick Castle. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you all soon.